Hey everybody, this is Dieta with Grown and Vegan and this video has a recipe that is so good and it's so simple. But I wanted to jump in and just give you a note. When I shared this recipe, I left out an ingredient that I used the first time I made it. I made this recipe just out of a whim. I wanted to try it um, and I didn't really have anything to go by. I just went by what I felt to put in it. And so when I first made it, I actually used this ingredient, which it's backwards. Let me see if I can show Vegan fish sauce. Now, I didn't add it in the video because I thought they're going to think I'm crazy for putting vegan fish sauce, but that stuff is so delicious <laughs> it's so good the flavors are so good and so i added it before when i was just making it on my own just throwing everything in like i kind of do sometimes and it really tasted good now in the way i show you in the video it tastes good I did use a little bit more oil than I did the first time I made it. So if you want a little bit more flour, you may want to cut back on the oil. I suggest to use in the video between a half a cup and a cup. You might not even use that much. Um, basically the way I suggest is to have more seasoning than oil to kind of give it more flavor. Um, the oil is just to help coat it and make sure it stays moist and everything. Also, in the video, I only cooked it for an hour at 435 degrees, but the first time I made it, I actually cooked it about an hour and 15 minutes, and it turns out a little bit more tender, and it allows more of the juice to come down into the cauliflower. So, just a couple of notes, a couple of adjustments that you can make to make this really good. Um, but it is like so delicious. Um, I did like my first round better than this second round, but it's still very good. So follow your heart. Cook with your heart. I cook with my heart. I don't like to measure. I did try to measure in this video for you guys, but I feel like I just do better when I just cook from my heart. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe. this recipe, I'm using olive oil, garlic powder, smoked paprika. I'm going to be using some Montreal chicken seasoning, which this is vegan. It just basically contains garlic, onion, salt, spices, and herbs, including black pepper, red pepper, parsley, paprika, and green bell pepper. I'm using black pepper, some onion powder, so really, basically the same thing that's in here. <laughs> and then some pink salt and a little bit of soy sauce. If you don't like soy sauce, you can always use liquid aminos. And then you'll need one head of cauliflower. The first thing that we'll want to do is make the basting um, liquid for the cauliflower. And so we're going to just use some olive oil. If you want to measure this out, you could probably start with a half a cup of olive oil. One half to a half, one half to one cup of olive oil, depending on the size of your cauliflower. And then we're just going to take each of our seasonings and add one teaspoon. Pepper, I'm probably just going to use a half a teaspoon. And then basically, we're just going to mix this all around. This is really, really simple. Then we're going to add some soy sauce. I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of that. And 
All right, so that will set this to the side and get our cauliflower ready. Now we're gonna cut up this cauliflower and I did wanna mention, I went in with my marinade and I added a little bit more of the chicken Montreal seasoning. Um, when I made this before, I didn't use as much oil. Um, so I just wanted to add, I added about another teaspoon of that seasoning. So you can go into this as much as you want. Um, with the different seasonings, you can also use other seasonings. If you like spicy, you could put in, you know, cayenne pepper, you could do some different things with that. So I just want to mention that this marinade is not a fall safe science. You can kind of play around with the spices. The main thing you just want to remember is to have the olive oil and then add the different spices that you would like to the marinade. So for this, I just got this cauliflower yesterday and it's already got a couple of spots on here. So I'm gonna get those off. It's crazy, I just, literally just bought this yesterday and it looked just fine. I don't wanna get those ugly spots off really quick here. All right. And then, of course, just flip it over. And cut away the leaves. This is probably the easiest recipe that I have ever made. And it's so, so good. I made this for the first time the other day and I was like I have got to make this for the channel just want to dig out the root for the stem here without upsetting the rest of the cauliflower head as much as possible there we go. Now I have seen where people stuff these. You have to be really good at cutting that because any more that you cut it, you're going to cut into the stem and start breaking it apart. But I'm not there yet. I'm just gonna stick with this. Don't really wanna stuff it, but that's an option. You can make a gravy to put over these. It's just so many options. All right, so I'm going to clean this up and I'll be right back. All right, I have cleaned off the cauliflower head. And I've got my pan here. If you have a deeper pan, that's fine. This is the only one that I had that will work for this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the pan to try to make it easier for the cleanup. It can get pretty messy. And then I'm gonna place this beautiful cauliflower in here. And this is the fun and the easy part. And all we have to do is take our marinade mixture here. Wanna make sure you get lots of the herbs and the spices along with the oil and you're just going to baste your cauliflower the flavor actually melts down into the cauliflower as it bakes in the oven so it's so good you don't have to add at least I didn't have to add any kind of flavor after it's done. You can just eat it. It's delicious. You want to make sure you coat it really well. I 
on all sides. Okay, once you have everything coated, have the whole cauliflower coated, you're just gonna place it in the oven I have my oven at three, or I'm sorry, at 435 degrees. I'm gonna have to bake this for about an hour. I'm gonna cover it with some foil. About, I put it in there for 30 minutes and then I'll baste it again and then cook it the rest of the way. It's about halfway through. I still have a couple minutes on the timer, but I wanted to go ahead and do this because I'm up. <laughs> so I'm just going to baste this again and put it back in here for another 30 minutes. You can use some of the juices that are coming off to baste it as well. 